What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're here reviewing the LEGO Detectives Office. This is set 10246. It has 2,262 2, pieces and has six minifigures. I'll show you the minifigures at the end. This is a three and a half story building with amazing details. There is one really special feature that I'll show you at the end. Which really, which really just makes this set distinguished and unique to the other modulars. Let's get started. This is a really well designed exterior. At the top, we have a water, we have the um, water dam which holds the water supply for the whole building. Here's a skylight and a secret kitchen for doing some cooking. Here's the main detective's office itself. And, oh, I forgot to mention, but this window here, um, this window is supposed to be, um, it's not, it's not in the, um, it's not in the official set, but it was a customization that I did. Um, and here's supposed to be a washroom. Um, here's Al's barbershop. Here's a policewoman. Looks like she just got a fresh cut. And here's the Highlander, a pool bar. Overall, this this um, exterior has great details, like this pool sign, this tree, this lamppost, and a newspaper dispenser. Having a look at the sides, nothing really too exciting here. This is a back view. Again, pretty standard. And this is the other side. Let's have a look at the first floor now. Having a look at the pool bar first. First and foremost, here's a fan. It spins well, and you can move it around, which is which is a great little build. Here's the main build, the pool table. Um, also I apologise about the shadows. I'm sorry if it, if you can't see properly because of them. Anyway, this is a really nice build. Um, now the fire brigade had a ping pong table. I think this is a much better build. Honestly. It's really, it's really well done. Over here, um, are the pool cues. And here's, um, here's one drink. Is um here's a this is actually a star print and windows. This is something I really like. This is the trophy. It looks really grand in my opinion. A really nice spa build. Here's sort of um the walkway in between. Here's the stairs that lead up to the second level. Looking at the barber shop. This is really, really small. I mean, you really can only fit one person there, and realistically, in a barber shop, you'd have at least two, at least two hairdressers, and then you'd have a waiting area as well. But that's all right. Here's a cabinet. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, you can move these stairs out of the way. Now. Um, these actually, this can, you can do this. Now I'll show you what this is, what, why you can do this at the end of the video. I really like this. This is a working mirror. Has two lights. Here's, um, here's a sink, um, a broom, and here's Al himself. In the front window, here are a few example cuts of what you can go in and what your hair would look like. And here's a sign. Very, very well done here. Overall, I'm quite impressed with the first level. It's a really well done set. Okay, let's have a look at the second level. Alright, now this window here, this, um, this is actually supposed to be a balcony. Let's have a look at the detective's office first. Now his office is really, really big. I'm quite surprised that 
his his office is actually bigger than the barber shop. To me, that does not make sense. Here's a design of a window. Um, a good building technique. Here's a fan. And his filing closet. Oh, I'm sorry, filing cabinet. Here's a main door. And here's a rack for his, um... Here's a rack for his hat. Don't know why the, um, the police hat's also there. Here's, um, here's a safe. In there you have some money and his briefcase. So, and here is his office. Sorry about the shaky camera. Here's the news. Now, um, I know it says the Lily news. Here are some envelopes and a map of the city. His desk is a mess though. Look at all these papers everywhere and little light here. I guess this is Ace Brickman himself. He's on a case. I like this. This moves out of the way. And in this place, you probably could put some envelopes. That could be some secret evidence that he doesn't want um, people to know. And here's a wanted sign. Here's another view of the office. This is a really good office, but I think it's a bit too big because again, the barber shop is significantly smaller than this one. All right, now this is a custom area. All right, this is all custom because I felt like um, that before this area would be wasted. Yeah, I'll get into the, I'll make a video about the customization um, real soon. Anyway, um, this is supposed to be a washroom. Here's a few pictures of what that looks like. Anyway, here are the stairs that lead up to the second, to that lead up to the third level. Sorry. Here's the third level. Half the level, actually, because here we have a kitchen and just a rooftop. Now, this kitchen, I promised that I'll show you the special feature of the set at the end, and I will. This kitchen is actually used for kicking for cooking illegal treats. So if you've checked the designer video out, you'd know that this set is based on a time of prohibition where sweet treats are not allowed. Now this guy, he's doing some cooking of the sweet treats. I, I suppose the skylight is to let him know if the detective is in his office or not. So basically the main theme of this is this guy, who's supposed to be a dart player, does all the cooking, his pool player friend helps him smuggle them down. Before I show you that, let's have a look at the kitchen. Now, I really like this kitchen. Um, it's a bit small in my opinion, but it gets the job done. Um, here's like, um, I don't know if this could be an oven or or a microwave, or a, or just a cabinet. Here's a rolling pin, a stove top, and some kitchen drawers. Here are some freshly baked cookies, and I suppose this is a tin where the cookies go after they're baked. One really interesting thing is, um, is that there's no door. So if the detective just walks up and finds that, um, the dark players cooking up all these illegal treats. Won't that be a bit too easy? And won't that sort of ruin the theme of it? I don't know. But but at the same time, it would be quite awkward if you just have a door here. Anyway. Because how would that fit? Anyway. Let's have a look at the roof of the kitchen. Alright, here's the roof. Pretty plain like this design here. Um, here's a shot of the other one. Um, yeah, um, interestingly enough, these are actually um, fists used to create the roof. A very nice building technique. Now, as I promised, let's check out the special feature of this set. 10.35 p.m. Ace Brickman is frustrated due to the lack of evidence. He eventually gives up and leaves his office.
He purchases one newspaper before going home. 11 p.m. The dart player has just finished hooking all the tree. He checks that Ace Brickman is not in his office. He takes his treats down. Down the stairs. 11.05 p.m. The pretends that his bin of cookies are actually booze. 11.45 p.m. Successfully smuggling the cookies into the pool bar. He takes a nap on the pool table. Waking up from his nap, he smuggles the cookies into Al's barbershop. Al receives a package. 5.01 a.m. After Al helps himself to some treats, his accomplice opens up his secret vent. Al then takes the treats out onto the streets. Five eleven AM The pool player receives the treats. He is then going to sell these treats on the market. Six thirty AM the pool player has left with the treats. Uh oh, what did he forget? 7.05 a.m. The detective arrives, finding one interesting piece of evidence. Uh oh, and he also finds a cookie. That is the detective's office. Now you can make a story however you like. That was my story. Leave yours in the comment section below. Having a look at the minifigures, here's Al, um, the barber. Now this is quite similar to um, the one worker at the Palace Cinema. Here's a bartender. Sorry, not the bartender. Here's a dart player. Here's a secret. Here's his red hat there. He looks quite happy. Looks like he got a good night's sleep after all that cooking. Here's Ace Brickman. Now he's also quite happy because he found some really nice um, clues this morning. Hmm. Looks like he's on to him. Um, here's just a lady. Um, I guess um, she's supposed to live in this um, apartment complex. Now um, this I'm not sure. I'll talk about more in my... Um, customization but um she might this could be her house um her apartment sorry she could live here um here's uh, a policewoman who's come in for a haircut um quite random if you ask me um but it's it's better than not having it there and here's the um pool player who's helped um the dart player do the smuggling overall this is an amazing set really unique and in my opinion much much better than the parisian restaurant i know many people will disagree um because the parisian restaurant was a really good set i think this just beats it no this beats it by a lot that's my opinion um because the while the parisian restaurant was a really well designed set um i find that the special features um that come with this set is really what takes this to a whole nother level. Anyway, that's my opinions. Leave yours in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Also, do me a favor and do yourself a favor by hitting that red subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Uh -oh. It says Lily. Hmm, what's going on here? I'll make another video about left in the next video. Bye.